New Pokemon Snap is the most boring addiction I've ever had. Each level is a set course that moves you through on rails slower than the It's a Small World ride at Disney. It's a slow ride, Snappable. It's a Eevee throw apple. Yet somehow, the pressure of snapping that perfect Pokemon picture in time is as exhilarating as Splash Mountain. Oh, God! Yeah. I played the original Pokemon Snap on Nintendo 64, and I remember printing out my photos using the Snap Stations because, you know, in the 90s we knew how to have a good time. Today's assignment, photograph the elusive Pokemon. Well, that's one way to do an Australian accent. Hard luck. Now, if you want to print your photos, you got to spend $200 on this thing. And only an idiot would buy that. And Bob wouldn't let me borrow his, so instead I had to draw this Machamp. <laughs> He can't hurt us anymore. Ah! New Snap is really pretty. The environments are really cool. The Pokemon look more realistic, or, you know, as realistic as an anthropomorphic vanilla ice cream cone could look. Uh, yeah, about that. This game is made by the same team that developed Pokemon Tournament. So it's safe to say that this side team sure knows how to make a Pokemon game look gorgeous. If only we could merge these talents with Game Freak's game design, then we could get some really great looking mainline Pokemon titles rather than Yeesh! What's a way to, to describe how bad Sword and Shield looked? <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> that's about that, 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 that about does it. <laughs>not everyone can snap a great picture of Eevee without some serious training. And that's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. There's a class for anything and everything, even photography. If all this Pokemon snapping is getting you in the mood to learn some real framing, lighting, composition, or even just how to use a camera. Then once you realize what makes a great photo, you too will realize that Professor Willow has no idea what he's talking about and you don't need to be right up a Pokemon's nose to get a good shot. That is probably the best photo I've taken. I need to make sure to manually save them. This, this game doesn't even understand photography. It doesn't, doesn't- But you might just be looking at improving yourself. Whether that's baking, creating art, learning a language, or playing an instrument. I swear when I started this, the sun wasn't like half on and off my face. Skillshare is created specifically for learning. Meaning there are no ads. And they are always launching new premium classes and it's less than $10 a month. The first 1,000 of you to click the link below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can fully explore your creativity. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna get a few more snaps of this guy and get inside because my allergies are acting up. And now Kim tries to play Pokemon Snap while Wood yaps his flaps. I love when he puts the stick back in I know. Here. He shoves it in. I didn't even know he could take that out. I thought it was part of his no. structure. His, that's his drumstick. Don't you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Now I get it. <laughs> now I get it. All right. While Kim is playing this adorable mess, uh, let me try and explain the game for those that maybe haven't played it and look at it like, oh, you just go around taking photos? I don't get it. How is that fun? And to that, I say, have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, I mean, have you? At least the animals aren't sleeping. Every time we go to the zoo, they're conked out. Yeah, every time you go through, as I said, it's relatively the same. The Pokemon follow a, a sort of schedule every time you go through, but they do splice in new routes and new surprises. And you have to try and interact with them and try and get them to do certain actions for you to get better photos of them. The first thing you have available to you is throwing apples. They tell you that the apples are actually really light, so don't feel bad about pegging them at every Pokemon Pokemon's face that you find. Ooh, he's mad. Ooh. So with the apples, you can try and get photos of them eating them, or you can try and bonk them on the head to see how they'll react to that. Maybe you can wake them up. Maybe you can knock them out of a tree. Next, you have the scan feature. If you scan areas, it'll show you information like what Pokemon might be hiding nearby or what other things you can interact with or maybe different routes that you can take. But the Pokemon themselves might react to the scan feature and do something like look at you or look surprised and you can get a photo of that. Why? I didn't know you, what, what was that? 
<laughs> it's like standing on the flowers. Yeah. That's not normal, is it? It is. Is that it a thing out. that... It looked like a glitch. No, if you smack him with an apple, he pops out. Well, you've got secrets I didn't know about. Yeah, that's one of the challenges. You're supposed to get a picture of him with his little hat. Oh, look at them all like... Oh, look at that buddy! He's like kicking his feet! I know, he's laughing. That's one of the challenges. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> now, watch him hate all my photos. Yeah, he's gonna hate he's every gonna single photo. Him up art. I shouldn't even bother showing him half of these. So the stars are actually not the rating of how good the photo is, but for what behavior the Pokemon right. was exhibiting in the photo. So at that point, whether you get a one, two, three, or four star, doesn't matter. You want to try and get one of each at some point anyway. You want to get the best ranking possible on each of those stars, which is like platinum or diamond or a shiny silver thing, I don't know. And to get a good ranking at that point, I can't help you because Professor Willow has no idea what he's talking about. I think that's really the only criteria he cares about. Can you see the Pokemon's nostril hair? Yeah, you're good. How does he figure this one is better than this one? That doesn't make any sense to me. Without giving away too many of the levels, as discovering each new area is a thrill that I shan't steal for many new players, there is a nice variety of locations and times a day that you can pick between. You'll find different Pokemon depending when and where you play. And then, just like Nintendo at E3 2016, you gets to snapping. <laughs> And like your sleep paralysis demon, you can always expect the Pokemon to be there. Each course stays essentially the same. So if you miss that shot of Arbok falling out of the tree, you can go back and just aggressively pelt him with 30 more apples. And you can take your photos and spend forever editing them with filters, frames, and stickers just so that the 15 people who actually use the online service can ignore yours. I'm just salty because every time I post, no one like. But there's there, there are posts that have like a hundred thousand likes on them, and I'm like, what? My pictures aren't good enough for you guys. I. You just want to be in the club, real. I have nice pictures. <laughs> and now we give you what it's like getting your photos rated in new Pokemon Snap. Hey, Professor, I got that picture of Eevee you requested. Oh, yes. Thank you, dear Wood. Let me see this photo here. Oh, very good. It's of the Eevee, I yeah, see. You know, I, I feel like it's a really nice shot. I framed it really well. The lighting was good. I tried to get that other Pokemon in the background. like One the star the bronze. Wait, what? Why? Not close enough to the Pokemon. But... Not close enough. Okay. Okay, I took it again. I, I got closer. Okay, let me see yeah, here. Yeah, I, I still managed to keep the framing there and the lighting was good. I'm not I'll close enough! Sir, I can't get much closer. Do it. Okay! Closer. Closer! Closer! Get closer! Closer! Not close enough! Closer! 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 closer. Get closer! 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 Okay, I, here I took, I got as close as I could. It's obviously not good at all, because all you. It's beautiful. Really? I've never seen such art. The framing, the lighting. This is the best picture I've ever seen. Oh my god. Four stars. Okay, I mean, in my opinion, it was a little bit close. Bronze. What do you want from me? All right, cool, we did it. Sweet. Fun, great game, what a blast. Uh, I don't really have a pony in this race. I don't care if you actually do buy the game or not. We just wanted to make a fun video with it. So I hope you had a good time. Like the video, subscribe, links down below for things. Kim has a YouTube channel and an Etsy store. You could go support her and everything that she does. I have a podcast and it's going through a big revamp right now. So if you want to listen to that, it's actually not a podcast and it's a lot of fun. I'm done, I'm out of here. Can't get no likes on my, po my fake Pokemon pictures. Flashback. It's a slow. Oh, okay, hold on. It's a slow ride, Snapamol. You wanna do a small voice? It's it's a slow ride, Snapamol. Okay, you have to do it at the same time. You can't just go rogue. I was waiting. You were waiting. You were going. You started. You went I it. Did. I was trying to find out what you're doing. It's a slow ride, Snapamol. There's an 